Hi there. So today I am gonna go back behind my shed and see about cleaning up some terracotta pots that fell off the back of the retaining wall. So I, I've got a uh, retaining wall that my brother and my husband and some friends built for us uh, this uh, last summer. And I had a potting bench that I made that my husband and I and my father-in-law made. Uh, and it was up against one of my sheds and I had like an infestation of mice. <laughs> and uh, that was a nervous laugh. Uh, and so I moved it to the other end. It was It's not up against my shed anymore um, because I thought that would help kind of like put it more out in the open and maybe mice wouldn't make their nest in there anymore. I don't know, I'm not really sure. But my point is, this is where I'm, what I'm getting at. It was, so here, we'll, we'll scoot back around. It was right up against here. And now I had moved it right over here, okay? I came out here one day and it was gone. I was like, what happened to my potting bench? Like, did, it didn't just, you know, grow legs and walk away and somebody didn't steal it. You know, no one wants like an old ratty, ratted potting bench. And I remembered we had a giant windstorm come through, as we usually do. And this, it fell right off the back of the retaining wall, and that's, that's that. Um, you can see the top of it broke off here, which is fine. I don't really care so much about the actual potting bench itself. I can repair that, no big deal. Um, it was all a bunch of scrap wood any they, anyway that my brother gave me. Um, and then also this, uh, that thing is actually kind of cool. My brother painted that. But um, I was mostly concerned about all those terracotta pots right there because <laughs> a lot of them are broken. So, uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to try to get in there and you guys, I'm going to be really brave today because I'm, I'm assuming that there's still maybe mice that have made nests in there. I don't know. I'm going to get the, um, pool, uh, like scooper thing, the, the pool thing that scoops the leaves. It's super long. I'm going to get that out and just kind of like shove it into these pots and make sure there's no mice in there because, um... I don't, none of you guys want to hear me screaming, okay? Let's just put it that way. You don't want to hear screams. Oh, you've got better things to do than see me running and screaming. So I'm going to grab the pool leaf scooper and we'll start poking at those and see, hopefully, see hopefully what we can't find, okay? <laughs> see what we can't find. The safest place to start is up here in the ledge. Um, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna like stick it in here. mice I don't even know if they were mice you guys they were like giant mice on steroids like they 
They weren't rats, because I've seen a rat before and they weren't as big as a rat, but my gosh, they were the biggest mice I've ever seen, so. And they were, they were everywhere. Like, they just kept like running out. Like, it was nuts. So that's why I'm acting like a crazy person right now. But, I think I'm gonna go down there. And I'm really excited because my brother is going to come over and help me build like a step right down here. So that will be nice. I'll have a step down here and then like a nice walking path. Okay, here we go. If they run out now while I'm down here, we're going to be done. And I fuss and brother, that's alright Cause me and that sweet woman's got a license to fight Why don't you mind your own business? Mind your own business Cause if you mind your business Then you won't be minding mine Oh, the woman on the party lines and knows the effect She picks up her receiver when she knows it's all right Why don't you mind your own business? Hey. Mind your own business Well, if you mind your business Then you won't be minding mine I got a little girl that wears her hair up high The boys all whistle when she walks by Why don't you mind your own business? Mind your own business Well, if you mind your business Then you won't be minding mine
was able to save a few pots, not many though. Uh, these are all the pots that I saved. So these are just um, really cute little boxes that my brother Kenny made me a long time ago. I love these boxes. Um, this is just a, I don't know, I think I had a succulent in this at one point. This, I'm really glad this didn't break. This is uh, something that, a pot that my um, grandma gave me uh, with a surprise lily in it. And so that's, that's gone, but at least the pot is here. Uh, that pot is like, I don't know, some sort of metal or something, so that's good. This one is broken, but I feel like it might be cool to do some sort of like a fairy garden in it. I don't know. I'm going to keep this one. And then I've got a couple in here uh, that didn't break. I've got quite a few little two inches that didn't break here and then some here as well. This one I thought would be really cool to, I don't know, do something in. This one, I love this little pot so much so I didn't want to get rid of it, but I am going to have to figure out how to straighten it back out again because it got smushed. Uh, so I'm going to keep that, but I don't know. I was thinking this one right here might be cool to like do a fairy garden in and like, so like different levels. So maybe take one of, um, these pieces, these are my broken pieces here and like maybe put like a, something like right there and then there's dirt, you know, right here and then uh, dirt up above here and do different layers of a fairy garden. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure something out. But anyway, um, I'm glad these cement pots that I made, uh, my sister and I made these years ago. I've had these for so long. These didn't break. And then a couple saucers here. Um, just a little bucket. This one didn't break. This one's pretty solid. These two are really, really solid. They didn't go, and I'm so glad that this big guy didn't go either. Uh, so, yeah. So, it wasn't too terrible, but look at what broke. So, these are all the ones I just picked up that broke. And I'm not going to get rid of these. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I was thinking it might be cool, like I said, to use parts of them to uh, make, I don't know, some sort of, like, little garden out of that one in that pot um, or I'm sure you've heard me say multiple times I'm working on cleaning all this area out and I want to put like a secret garden back there around this maple tree here this one and I thought it might be cool to break these up even more and have like a little a cool little path somewhere like a little broken terracotta path garden I don't know the potting bench here pretty much stayed in one piece there's just one chunk off the back I gotta fix. And then this thing over here, um, this pretty much stayed in one piece except for that little chunk right there that's missing. But that is still on the back, I think, right there. So I think that'll be okay. But anyway, I'm going to clean this stuff up and put it maybe up behind the shed for now and then um, see if I can try to get this potting bench back together. We got married one afternoon in May Never did see the light of day On a honeymoon we didn't have much when we started. What I'm gonna do is, I don't want it anywhere near my shed. I kinda just still want it out in the open. So I think I wanna put it kinda up against that tree right there. But in order to do that, I really wanna clean up all this crap. So I'm gonna go get my chainsaw, my pink free chainsaw that I got. And I'm gonna kinda just hack some of this crap up. Um, and then we'll go from there. Get rid of all this junky mess. I got my chainsaw, my safety goggles. Um, it's the coolest chainsaw ever. <laughs> it's a little mini six inch chain uh, air blade and you literally just poke in that safety there, pull the trigger and you're good to go. And you can hack up whatever you want. Uh, so I'm gonna work on hacking up the stuff around there and then um, just cleaning it up as much as I can. I might get my shovel out and actually like start to like level some of this. Um, it depends on how frozen the ground is, we'll see. 
Uh, this is kind of turning into a bigger job than I thought, um, but that's okay. Uh, this area is by no means cleaned up at all. It's literally just like a work zone dump area uh, since we put this retaining it wall in the last uh, summer. So um, this is on my priority list to uh, get to and clean up anyway. I'm not gonna be able to clean it up uh, completely just cause it's winter and I, I have no clue where all the weeds are. And the all I can see is like the scrub bushes that are here from last year. So that's what I'm gonna hack back. And then in the uh, summertime, I'll probably come in and like actually dig out the root. We'll see. we'll see. But the ground is probably pretty frozen to dig into right now. But we'll just do the best that we can. So, all right, start hacking away. Ooh, I got you Ooh, I got you You could have had that boy that you used to know He's a millionaire from Ohio Your mama told me so When the best I could do was a factory you didn't get much when you got me Maybe that's true But ooh, I got you Ooh, I got you I got something money can buy Cross my heart at home that I can't afford Cause I got you And I thank the Lord What I did is I made like a little really crappy retaining wall with um, some extra blocks that we had and uh, just to kind of level this area out because it was on a slope and then I stuffed underneath these two um, sections here I stuck like chunks of cement to kind of level them out a little bit because they were a little rocky. Eventually what I'll do is I will get probably like some stepping stones and like pad this all out but I don't have that right now so this is just temporary. Um, and then I just called my husband and he's um, inside he's going to come out here and he's going to help me put um, this back splash back on. So he's on his way out here right now but um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited because I was able to clean out um, all that area right there. It was pretty nasty. And then there were some like dead uh, fallen logs that were in here. So I kind of just like extended them down this path here and then around this corner. Yeah, turned out all right just for now. And then once uh, the spring gets here and it kind of grows in a little bit more, I can see what more I'm working with. But for right now, I think that bench will be a lot safer up against that tree um, because it's, I don't know, it's super windy back here, as you can see and probably hear. Uh, super windy. So, all right, we'll wait for my husband to get out here and then we'll try to get the back on that potting bench and then, um, and then uh, take care of all the pots over there. Now we fold this left is a rocking chair I'll be fine when you'll be there Rocking to you Ooh, I got you <laughs> Shenanigans Ooh, All right, you think we can do this? There's a lost cause
Do you need another one? Like oh, that? Yeah. And maybe just do it all along there, right? Because of like the mice situation I didn't know if there's uh, mice underneath in there I didn't know what was going on in there so um, that was kind of nice to get it uh, cleaned up get the potting bench back together um, it didn't look too bad but I was unsure if we would be able to get it back together and we did so thanks for my husband that came out and helped me I wouldn't have been able to do that by myself because you had to like hold it while you screwed it in it was just it was hard with him it was easy but and then I also got that area cleaned out around that tree, which I've been wanting to tackle for some, quite some time, thanks to my Natty chainsaw here that I got for free. Uh, and yeah, so it feels really good to get all that cleaned up and just get a little kickstart to back here because I know this is going to be a big project for me come this spring, uh, just cleaning all this stuff out. And just because I say it's a big project doesn't mean that it's not going to be fun. I love, love, love stuff like this. I love taking something um, that looks like crap and, in my mind, <laughs> turning it into something that looks pretty cool. So um, I'm really looking forward to getting out here and just uh, continuing what I've already started. And this just really helps um, encourage me to keep going. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys for uh, coming along with me. Um, I've said it before, but I'll probably keep saying it. There's lots of things that you could be doing at the moment right now. <laughs> lots of other uh, things you could be watching. Uh, anything. You could be doing anything with your time. And you have chose to hang out with me in my woods and clean up a bunch of crap. So anyway, I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to thank you guys. So hope you have a wonderful day and live it to its fullest. Bye.